Good morning. Welcome back to Box the Battlefield. Dave, welcome back too. I haven't seen you in a little while. Yeah, it's been a little while since, since we've done uh, this uh, together. So. Since your AMX good 13. To, good to be back. Yeah, and you and I have traveled a little bit. You yeah, know, we've, we've, yeah, we've done uh, we've done some shows. Yeah, been to London, Ontario, and Detroit, and Guelph. And, yeah, um, the uh, Detroit show was great. You know, the hospitality yeah. in Detroit. Yeah, as Ian, usual is Ian, John, Tim, and the rest of the guys did a great job putting on the, the Can Am show in Livonia. And um, if if you if you haven't been to that show, they do it every couple of years, so they do it on even years. So the next one will be in twenty twenty, uh, and it's usually the first Saturday of October that they do it. Um, so it's a it's a great show, and and uh, the guys there are absolutely fantastic. The vendors were good. Yeah, the um, hospitality. Uh, yeah, and those guys. One those of the guys, things they're, is... they're great guys and. Um, you know, very friendly, very friendly bunch. So if, uh, if you haven't had a chance to get to that show, I, I, I can't recommend it highly enough. Yeah, there was a, a guy, a, a, a viewer of you and I who uh, who won first with his Panther. So, yeah. you know, that's, that's that was, great too. And that was, a, that was a big category. Like they had... Oh, well, that's true. That was huge. Yeah, yeah they... 20 they, tanks in that category. At least, at least. So, um, yeah, so well done. Well maybe done maybe they should... Uh, nice. Maybe moving forward in 2020, they should... Break up between Allied tanks versus Axis or something. Yeah, that was. A, that was it, it'll take less pressure. It, it's it takes just less pressure off the judges to try and find three tanks amongst twenty. Is but hey, if you if you're if you come home with something in that in that big a category, you're doing pretty good. I think I, yeah. if I seem to remember, you got a second for for this <laughs> yeah. Tiger here, didn't you? I did. So <laughs> that's uh, that's not too bad. No, it was uh, it was uh, you know, well. Put together show and and everything about it was you know and then it, we you know we the places to go and eat during the judging or, or to break for lunch you know that that's pretty good too so yep um if you guys get a chance and, um, come and, on through yeah and, and one thing that those guys do that i really really love is um they don't announce the first second and thirds so they just put them on the table and they just yeah, do the, the, little medals, award. the yeah. little medals are beside so, your So tanks. the award ceremony is a very short, yeah, I think uh, it tolerable even, affair, which is which I don't is think great. it hit 20 minutes, I, yeah. I think, total. I, I think that's fantastic, because there's nothing worse than at the end of a long day um, to have a, an award ceremony. To go ceremony. through 80 categories. Yeah, that's, you know, first, second, and third, that's, but, uh, yeah, so well well done, guys. Great job. Yeah, great well job done. On the show. And then, um, after that, we went off to Guelph, and that was, that was... You know, it's in their second year. Guelph is a little town outside of Toronto, about uh, 75 miles, I guess. And um, At most, yeah. Yep. And they put on a, their second show, um, uh, and they go every year, every uh, first week of November. And uh, we'll brag about Davy's tank that cleaned up at the show. Oh. Uh, this is a panther that you guys haven't seen here in the video in the YouTubes, but uh, Dave's tank here representing a, a model at Kursk, um, and it was the 75th anniversary of the Kursk battle, so yeah, that so was the theme award. And yeah, they, they were they were doing that special theme award, and that's uh, that's what I was building for. So and and you won it too, baby. I, I did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, and and it was the nice thing about what Dave did here with his Panther is. The Panther, the, the Battle of Kursk was one of the first showings, if not the first showing of, of Panthers. And, and they had, you know, teething pains and... and yep, they had a lot of technical issues. Technical issues on it. And Dave's Panther here, it's not heavily weathered because obviously it, it rolled off a flat car onto the battlefield from probably a factory, you know, back in Germany. So um, it's represented beautifully, the fact that it's not buried in... Mig wash and AK this and AK that, and it's still the presentation of it is beautiful. So, if you're around and, and you see Dave's Panther, take a good look at it. It's, it's beauty. And there's oh, sure. there's a little something I have to show all the viewers out there. <laughs> Our little uh, pistol port. Oh yeah. With the with the decal that's see these these pistol ports are pressed on, you know they're sort of sp sprung in, and um, so they can be put back in any way you want. It's yeah. not like a winding thread or anything. So Dave's cut his decal to represent that it's just been popped back on again. Um, and that's why the number two there 
um, where the pistol port is, is, and those are the great things about um, modeling that just add that little bit of interest and keep viewers' eyes on models versus something that isn't, you know, the model next to it that has nothing going on and, you know, the skirt's missing and that sort of stuff. All that stuff adds a little more interest to our well, and, that, and, that, and that's just from looking at a lot of reference shots. Um, and, you know, so you see a lot of the, the Panthers at Kursk in, in the pictures and whatnot, and they have, a lot of them have that pistol port, you know, it's, it, they've, it's gone out and they pull it back in and it's a little skew, right? So, it's, yeah. again, it's one of those details that you pick up from looking at references. And we'll talk a little bit about that more um, when we get to the next subject that I'm going to be working on here, which is the, the Stug, the Stug 3. <clears throat> so there's a whole bunch of reference books that I want to, and pictures that I want to show, and, and the, you know, we're going to take some details on and put onto the tank. So I think the more references, pictures you can get, even though it may not be of that specific vehicle, I think it's it's a great way to provide some inspiration in terms of doing some of the things. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, that, that it's, are gonna, it's that an are gonna make it stand out, right? It's an interest, you know. It's, it's a, it, it, like I say, it, it, and you guys know this from myself judging and that sort of thing, or or just as a viewer at shows. Anything that uh, keeps a visitor at your model for just another 10 seconds. Um, like I have a bunch of little dot. I have a little um, blanket that, that the troops would have had to maybe lie down on because they're changing a wheel or greasing it up a little bit. But there's all kinds of little grease spots all over the little blanket at the front here. You know, because maybe a guy's taking a cap off of something and oil's dripped out all, all over it. So... Little interest things like that that keep people, um, and, and it's visually pleasing, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a beautiful, that's the, that's the new Tamiya Stewart, right? That's the new yeah, Tamiya that's, Stewart. That's, that's a beautiful little kid. It's uh, at Monte Cassino in Italy, and, um, you know, I, I think that, um, I think other than the Russians, I think every allied country fought at Monte Cassino. So, um, and the new, this is a New Zealand tank that they, uh, you know that there wasn't many there they, they'd moved on to the mark fives by then but um according to jeff plowman there was a few left over there it, jeff plowman being the author of a book on monte casino um and again reflecting back on the references and the you know just the reading material that you know we have access to nowadays um well the other thing that's this, really that's really nice about this is the integration of the groundwork onto the vehicle yeah, right, like the same the same color tones and whatnot, to, so that I mean, when you put your vehicle on a piece of groundwork, it doesn't it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. It looks like it belongs there because it's you know right. the, the color palettes and whatnot are integrated. So nice, yeah, nice job. Yeah, on that. so we we steal what Dave's getting at is stealing the colors from the groundwork and putting them up amongst all the baggage and the and the things. And, and same with the same weathering uh, washes that you use on the ground. You also have been using on your on your turret ring or whatever so those kinds of things you're right david you have to merge the two together harmonizing them a little bit so and, and that, that that was a golf too and that did, that did very well or that, that taking first in this category yeah thank you so. that was uh and again the, the, i think i counted i think 95 to 100 uh, pieces of armor there so for a show that's only uh, out for the second time um and automobiles boy the automobiles at this show were fantastic yeah. so yeah. so moving forward um if you get an opportunity to come to the golf show and, and some of the guys from detroit came you yeah. know there was four or five detroit guys that yeah. came too so yeah. you know it's getting a little reputation and of course lunch you know we all sort of hustle lunch out lunch at the old mill there was, uh, was, <laughs> yeah, always, that was always an event right? yeah, so that's fantastic fun. part of the fun part of the shows so now this all brings up another show that's going to be in this hood momentarily uh well, well we'll talk about just briefly about some shows coming up in the spring in 2019 which would be uh the hamilton show yeah hamilton's the next big one that's kind of uh that's at the end of march and that's really it's a local show but it's really the size yeah, of a good regional I oh yeah there'll be 750 miles yeah yeah it's impressive and, and, the, and, the, and the really neat thing about that hamilton show is that it's in the warplane heritage um, airplane hangers. So you have a Lancaster and a Spitfire and a few things hanging around in one-to-one -one scale. I remember a couple of years ago they had it and they had a Catalina at the end of the mauling table, the airplane mauling table. 
I mean, a full size Catalina, flying Catalina. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it, you walk in the room and there it is, and it just take your breath away. Was, so, put Hamilton on your calendar, gentlemen. It, it's a very very good show. It's a great show. Yeah, nice way to kick off the season. And Pittsburgh is shortly after that, which yeah, the, it's, the guys in Pittsburgh. Um, they used to have the, the show the same weekend as Hamilton, so their show would be on the Saturday, and then Hamilton would be on the Sunday, and it was always you know a little bit tough for us to get to each other's shows. Um, but uh, we did that last year, but it's, uh, it makes for a long weekend. So what they've done is they've they've pushed their shows. So I think it's the following weekend. Um, so I know a bunch of you know probably uh, Barry uh, Barry Newmark and John Banani and Bill Dedick will probably come up. And, yeah. uh, and, then we'll, houses, and then we're going to return the we'll favor and, and head down and visit them yeah, a, a week later. Yeah. Ah, that's great. Yeah, a home and away, a home and away show two weekends <laughs> in a row. That's great. To come about. Yeah, so, it's very a good. Lot of fun. Okay, so the big show in our neighborhood next year will be this amp show. And amps, I think we all know the amp show. Um, last year in Dayton, and this uh, coming up in two thousand and nineteen. We'll be in Buffalo, New York on May 9th through the 11th. And um, oh, there's normally close to a thousand pieces of armor there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think last year was the highest, I can't remember the exact number of, of entries, but it was the highest number of entries that they had at Dayton, Yeah. Uh, at the Dayton show. And uh, so we're hoping to surpass that uh, uh, next year with, uh, with Buffalo, so. Yeah, so, and their theme, is snow so that's no surprise there's probably snow in buffalo now <laughs> and, and, lots and, of and will be come this show um los angeles could use a little bit of snow i think with all those sad yeah. sad the situation with all the that's, fires that's in terrible. los angeles there, yeah. poor california is um god bless all the firemen and the first responders to the poor people in california but maybe uh maybe they could use a little snow out there um, it's no laughing matter, but, um, anyway, Buffalo is a laughing matter as far as their snow, because they, <laughs> it's, it's like two that, seasons in Buffalo. Well, that lake effect snow. Yeah. That lake effect snow. So uh, build your white models. Um, the reason I mention it is because after my tiger tank is finished, um, here with filming, which should be in another two or three episodes, probably two at the most, other than a bit of groundwork, um, I'm going to. Do a, a winter camouflage or show how I camouflaged the. Yeah, you did, you did a beautiful job with this tiger. Oh, um, thank you, David. And it's, uh, it's, and it's one of those things where you, you, you know, the more you look at, uh, the more you look at it, the more you see, um, you know, there's like the the different effects that you put on there, the the hairspray technique, the streaking, um, you know, oil paints and and. Uh, yeah, like gonna, rendering uh, and whatnot. It's it's and if Rod, I don't have a chance, but if you can zoom in right along here, you can just see there's so many different, so many different colors and streaking and effects and whatnot. It's just it's absolutely beautiful. So it's uh, well, it's from watching your uh, AMX 13. I mean that that was a beauty with all the and so what I'm gonna do with not this tiger but a a, a tiger that I'm gonna work on with you guys on on the YouTube is then add um add it to a little diorama with three figures on it the Kharkov setting so um I've just started mapping out this guy so he's on his way and um so um my next like I say my next thing after the King Tiger will be a Tiger one will take it um right through the hairspray and I know that you guys maybe are sick and tired of me talking about hairspray but it's a great effect on the models and and so I'm going to paint it yellow, then hairspray it, paint it white, chip it off, and and show you guys all the stuff. And then I'm going to get into painting some figures. But this is all sort of moving forward after Christmas. So is it, it, let's not get any everyone getting their paint brushes out and their flesh tones for waiting for a figure um, YouTube because it ain't happening till the spring. So anyway, but anyway, there we'll put together a little diorama for for this show in Buffalo, and um, then I don't know what's after Buffalo. I, I guess the season will sort of draw to a, you know, oh, there'll be Torcan. Yeah, there's, tor there's Torcan tor here at the, end of, at the end of May, and then there's the, uh, the IPMS Nationals. Um, oh, in I think in, Yeah, I think in early August. Is, uh, August I know we're 7th through 10th. And yeah, so I think a bunch of us are heading down. Yeah, that's very and, true. 
Yeah, we'll all uh, go to end up hit, hit Gettysburg on the way down or something. It should be great. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. fun. It'll be a lot of fun. So that's Chattanooga uh, in um, in August of 2019, and um, then we're back into the fall season again. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, the so there's movies. lots of modeling to be done, guys. Um, stay. Um, when it comes to building all your models, keep them true and square first. Keep all those tracks, you know, front and center. Get the seams out of the barrels. Don't pay any attention to painting any of these models until the basics are um, achieved and yep. looked after. And then, and then Dave and I can help out as far as the painting of it all. So thanks Three for watching. Four. Yeah, it's been great talking to you guys, and uh, we'll talk shortly. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Take care.